This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. We live in a culture where our daily bread is something that many of us will never have to worry about. What a blessing. Many of us will never have to worry about where today's food comes from, where provision for today can be found, or even where provision for tomorrow is going to come from. And that is an amazing thing and is such a blessing. We also live in a society that most of the time says, I don't have enough. With just a little bit more, I can be satisfied. With just a little bit more, I can be content. A quick Google search showed me that since 1975, there have been over 2,000 songs written with lyrics that speak to not being able to gain satisfaction. And over half of those spoke to not being able to have enough belongings or money. The Gospel of Matthew says that you cannot serve both God and money. So it begs the question, what do you really trust in? Do you trust in God for His provision that He has provided you with exactly what you need and that you need no more? Or do you trust in what society tells you and that is more and more and more and maybe one day you will find satisfaction? Earlier, I mentioned that for many people, they will never have to worry about where their daily bread comes from. And that is true. But for some, figuring out where the day's provisions will come from is a problem that they face regularly. And if that is you, I want to take the next couple of moments and hopefully show you a place where you can find hope and that is in the true daily bread that is Jesus. You see, I also found on my Google search that since 1990, there have been over 600 songs that were written with lyrics that point to people believing they are not enough. That they are not enough of a person to deserve good things, that they are not enough to accomplish any dream, that they are not enough to be loved. I found this incredibly sad. I had to sit and wrestle with this sobering reality for a few moments. But that is when hope hit me square between the eyes. One of the most famous Bible verses in the world begins with, for God so loved the world that he gave. The fact that he loved the world means that he loved you. That he loved you enough that he gave, not, not just gave monetary, not just gave food, but he gave something that is of highest value. He gave the true daily bread in the form of his son and he gave his son for all who would choose to receive that free gift. Jesus is the daily bread. Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice and his love and his sacrifice for us tells us that to him we are enough. We are enough for him to come and die and come back from the dead so that we can experience true provision that comes from spending time with Him and accepting Him as our daily provision regardless of our circumstances. So the question is, will you accept the free gift that God has offered and let Jesus sustain you and let Him be your daily bread and let him define your worth rather than your belongings. Let's pray. Father, 
I come to you today and honestly, there are days when I try to define my own worth. I try to define my own worth by comparing myself to other people. I try to define my own worth by what I don't have. And today I repent of that. And I come back to you and say, please remind me of who you say that I am because I know that your actions have stated that I am enough for you to love, I am enough for you to sustain, and I am enough for you to have sacrificed for. So Jesus, I say I love you, and I'll talk with you again soon. Amen. I love you, Westside. Enjoy week three of the Prayer God Answers 100% of the Time Life Group Edition.